the most recent change was the approval of bosutinib, another second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitor um, as frontline therapy. Uh, so now we have three second generation TKIs for frontline and denimatinib. Uh, so four approved for frontline therapy. I think the bulk of the data, if you put them all together, all the second generation data, all, they all look uh, consistent with that benefit uh, compared to imatinib. There are some differences which are difficult to reconcile considering that these are similar but not identical studies from one drug to the other. Um, but I do think that it is fair to say that these are um, they become standard. Um, some of the important things that are emerging now is uh, for the satinib in particular, um, the use of lower doses. Um, and, and it's no surprise that the initial results that have uh, emerged from our institution are positive uh, when we consider that with uh, both nilotinib and bosutinib the dose that we use for frontline is lower than the dose that we use for salvage so um, sure enough that's proving to be the same with with uh, the satinib um, and I think that a lot of the focus now is to see uh, should we do some interventions early on to try to optimize the number of patients who get to the deepest molecular responses and that, who, that at some point will be uh, eligible for treatment discontinuation. There's studies using adding uh, ruxolitinib and adding interferon and uh, other agents. Uh, perhaps one of the most exciting ones is adding venetoclax uh, with uh, some good preclinical data, uh, but there's not enough data yet clinically to, to uh, assess what that will show, but it will come soon.